Alrighty, alrighty. So, a lesson that God has been attempting to teach me slowly but surely this year is that every need is supplied. It supplied. Every need is supplied. And I'm going to learn to rest in that and live in that. I went to a Tigers game a couple years ago. I remember, and when I was at the game, there were some problems going on in the ministry that I had to deal with. And I remember the whole time being there, I was on my phone the whole time. I was completely oblivious <clears throat> to what was happening in the game uh, because I was so caught up dealing with issues. Didn't have a clue what was going on. So I haven't been to a game in a while, and I've actually been wanting to go lately. I've been wanting to go this year, haven't been. And all of a sudden, we got some Tiger tickets for today. That's great. So I've been looking forward to this. Now all of a sudden, there's an issue with one of our trucks that hypothetically really needs my attention. And my mind's already been there, like, either I don't want to go to the game or at the while I'm at the game, I'm picturing myself texting and dealing with this problem the whole time. But you know what? Here's the thing. We're going to learn how to live in God's reality. That every need is supplied. That God has every problem solved. And that his provision is there in Jesus' name. We learn to walk around in, in the Garden of Eden as, as Adam and Eve did just just thanking God and, and literally seeing that provision manifest before our eyes. So I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to this Tigers game today and I'm not going to worry about nothing and I'm not going to be dealing with issues on my phone all day long and I'm just going to go and I'm actually going to concentrate on the game and relax. I think Jesus would have done that once in a while. In fact, they're playing the Angels today. The uh, California Angels or Anaheim Angels so anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there with you. So whatever the storm is you're going through, listen, grab your pillow and go to the back of the boat. There you will find Jesus. He is resting, sleeping at the bottom of the boat. And your provision is there. Be blessed.